And hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the stream. We're back. We're doing things. Uh, so, um, I'm playing Seven Days to Die with Rowan Pilar, uh, Alpha 21. The newest version that is stable, as far as I can tell. It will be vanilla uh, until further notice. Uh, I am hosting, so I'm going to have to kick this on to a reasonable sort of well, let's see what we're doing sort of way, uh, or else she won't be able to join me. So I believe she's just doing some final patching, and then she should hopefully be able to join me uh, in both voice and game. Uh, meanwhile, I'm fiddling with my microphone still. Uh, so I'm going to press this button here. You should be able to see me. I keep having to fiddle with my camera. You should be able to see my game. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear Rowan when she joins. Um, I'm going to start a voice call. Do, do, do. There we go. Hi, Rhino Man. How are you? Oh, sorry. One second. Uh, you are coming out very quietly in my setup here, and I don't know why. Uh, That's me, I think. Well, ah, uh, okay. Uh, well, I've got a problem. Uh-oh. Um, it's still trying to, um, uh, it's, it's still trying to do, um, uh, uh, the undead legacy. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, I right-clicked on the thing and just hit restore files, but it might take a bit because it has to re-download a bunch of stuff. Okay, so what do I do? I... So if you right-click yeah. it on your Steam library, you should be able to say manage files. There should be a restore option in there somewhere. I can't remember exactly where it is. Manage property updates installed files. Now, where did they put it? Installed files to restore this game in the future. Move this game's content to another folder or drive. Barricade, verify this. Ah, there it is. Verify the integrity. That's the one. Okay. Uh, and it will. Go, oh, you're not verified, and then it'll try and download some stuff. Uh, I'm hearing sound effects on my stream here. I think it's Oakham. Yes. Hi, Star Wars server. Thank you so much for the welcome back. Yes, you hear moving. You hear me um, uh, crying at Rhino because my system is. It, it, we're, we're going. We're we've decided to try the vanilla Alpha 21 to see how it works, to see how it. Uh, uh, operates before we start doing modded on it. So, Microphone default there. Speakers default uh, there. Life. There we go. So Mama Dargan is not in the background. I'm kind of trying to avoid it, but I can put Mama Dargan in the background. So, uh, please let me know if any of my audio is loud or quiet. <laughs> Your audio right now, all I'm hearing is your voice, and it sounds good. Uh, my sweet okay. dulcet tones. Yes, your sweet, the sweet dulcet tones <laughs> of Rhino Man. Oh, and Diamond says hi. Hello, Diamond. Earlier. Yeah, she's not here. She's. Let's try again. Play. That Play was, seven days to die. That sounds like a hi bye moment there. Yeah. Well, she's still upstairs. I'm in the basement. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, there we go. Mama Dargan is operational. Ah, good. My graphic settings are still okay. Ooh. Oh, God. No, it's still not working. It's still doing the ended legacy it, thing? It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's subquake, uh, uh, I don't want to have to completely redo this. Yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. Options. 
There we go. Mama Dargan is up and running so people have something to look at on their screen. And Okum is doing his best to push that terrible dad joke off the screen. Oh, what was the terrible dad joke? What did the celery say when he broke up with his girlfriend? I don't know. She wasn't right for me, so I really don't care at all. Oh, God. Care at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I think it's still better. It's still better than the one I have set as my uh, go on, gone live pun. Yes. Yeah, I have to agree. Hi, Mrs. Piffle Chips. How you doing? <coughs> oh, excuse me for just a second here. I just... Uh, Error updating menu group main menu object reference not set. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, it's just not unfortunate. Okay. okay, so my uh, in case anybody is wondering or doesn't get them, uh, my my go live notification is a uh, I, I change it every week to be a terrible pun. Uh, mm -hmm. My pun this week is really bad. And what's the pun this week. Turns out that new co car owners aren't a fan of Tesla's because the new car smell has a bit of a musk to it. <sighs> yeah. Alright, game overlay data delete language. Launch, launch options. Play seven days to die. Update. Only update this game when I launch it. Uh, pause back. Installed files. Oh, I like the new questing menu. Make a bad roll. Okay. All right. So if I take the undead legacy stable main, do a barrel roll file folder, and I delete it, will that muck things up? Uh, it might. Uh, but I think if you that might be the the solution because if you do that and then hit verify files, it's going to say there's stuff missing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, install files. Verify integrity of game files. Yes, I want to make the app. Hi, am Mrs. Biffle Chips. How you doing? And Star Wars Forever says hello, Rhino Man. Hello. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's an interesting thing. What? I'm not used to the uh, I'm not used to the new item models. Mmm, okay. Also, when you harvest uh, bird nests, mm -hmm. they are destroyed. Yep. That's a, that's an interesting uh, change. Mm -hmm. So, how was your holiday season? It's a trap! Since, yes, I know it's like halfway through January, but I haven't talked to you. Oh, no, like that's fair. Uh, our, my holiday season was pretty quiet. I spent a lot of time... Uh, doing nothing, and that's that's okay by me. <laughs> yeah. I see the standard quests are still all the same. Yeah. Okay. We're at ninety-one percent integrity. This is good. <clears throat> I need to make a pair of pants. I need to make a club. Oh, they don't even ask you to make anything more than a pair of pants. Oh, really? Yeah, not anymore. Okay. Star Wars says he is snow blocking his car and outside his apartment window. Hmm. He didn't get that much snow. We had we had a bit of a, a snowstorm, but we had lots of snow last night, and then the temperature went up, so we had freezing rain, and the temperature went back down again, and so we have blowing whiteout condition. The yeah. snow never got above, I'd say, two inches, but we have a layer of ice in between. So the roads are particularly treacherous. Uh, meanwhile, I've got wind chill warnings of minus 55. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Yes, yes, I want out the I'll allow the app. To just... <clears throat> okay, so the yeah. uh, starting quests haven't changed. Some names have uh, updated, but largely speaking, everything is the same as it was. Okay. So far, so good. Son of a... I hear some frustration over there. Are you okay? 
Yeah, uh, it's still it's you still a mess. May have to uninstall and reinstall. I hope that doesn't take yes. too long. I no, think it might it actually take less time than patching, honestly. Uh, okay, so how does one uninstall? Manage. Uninstall. Yes, I'd like to uninstall this game from my device. Yes. Well, in that case, you guys get to hear the saga of my holiday. Oh, yes. Let's, that's okay. Let's, let's hear all about it. <laughs> we were expecting family drama because my stepbrother and his wife and my niece and her boyfriend were going to be there all Christmas Day. Ooh, that's a lot of people. Yeah. Well, Christmas was being catered this year because my dad, of course, couldn't, um, uh, couldn't, uh, storage, install the storage. Um, because my father, it, his love language is food. I think we've talked about that. But there's no way that he could handle doing, um, dinner. Oh, that's fair. And, of course, he's very possessive of his kitchen. And the thought that, you know, that his children and grandchildren might want to <clears throat> make things and bring them to him is a completely foreign and unwelcome uh, uh, option. So I went to I, I was a little stressed. And so I didn't go to bed till two o'clock in the morning. So it was technically December 30, December 25th. And I was thinking to myself, I really don't want to go. I love my mom. I will go for my mom. But I really don't want to go. I know, I could fake sick. <laughs> I could pretend to have a heart attack. And then I wouldn't have to go. Oh, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. No, I shouldn't. I was thinking about it, but I thought, no, that's a bit extreme. And, you know, respons familial responsibilities, etc., etc., etc. And then I rolled on my side and I pulled my knees up and my chest exploded. Oh dear. And I thought I was only kidding. I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. It was a joke. I wouldn't ne I would never do that to my family, right? So then I thought, okay, this is this is bad, but you know, I, I've had chest pain before, as we know, so I thought, okay, fine, no, I, I will deal with this. Now, the sensation was like being stomped on, and my chest and my and my heart was being squeezed, and then it went from the center of my chest and it branched out to both rib cage, and then went out, it went up my throat. Oh dear. And then my mouth started watering, and I thought, okay, I might throw up, and so I'm I'm convulsively gulping. As I'm trying to breathe, and I'm thinking, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh crap, this so one then, might be real. Yeah, this, is, this isn't just stress. And then I thought, okay, well, you know what, maybe I'll just lay down on my back and put my feet up over my head, and maybe that'll help. You know, you do that with dizzy spells and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Made it worse. And I thought, okay, so I sit up again. And that, it, that I'm on Google. Remember, I am still in extreme amounts of pain. I'm yep. still doing the deep breathing and I'm still frantically swallowing. And I get onto Google and look up heart attack symptoms for women. And I said, I, yep, 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 yep. Okay, crap. This is 202. Very Maybe we should call 911. Yeah. yeah. So I put on my robe that has a zip front. I get up from bed. Cherub, who works, as we know, really strange hours, right? And so he was up at 2 o'clock in the morning because that's his normal wake-up time. He was sitting on the, on the toilet and, and doing the manly thing of reading while he's on the toilet. And Diamond um, had gone to bed earlier and had woken up at like 1.30. Mm -hmm. And so she was downstairs... Because that's what we do. It's like if, if you go to bed early and you wake up early, you go downstairs. If you're tired, you go back and have a nap. And I figured it was all just the stress of what we were expecting to happen Christmas Day. So 
So I get out of the bedroom and I look over at him and I said, call an ambulance. I'm having a heart attack. And Cherub looks up and goes, what? I said, call an ambulance. I'm having a heart attack. Okay. So he's immediately done with the bathroom. And I start very carefully deep breathing. Don't no, no longer have to frantically swallow, but I'm still deep breathing. I'm, you know, it's like, it's like dude, this is the moment where you're like, oh, it's happening. Uh, let me, let, let me just, let me. just, just remain calm. Yeah. So I go downstairs. I, I, I go down the full flight of stairs. I sit in the chair that's in front of our Xbox. I look at Diamond and I say, I'm having a heart attack. She drops the F-bomb and says, I'm calling an ambulance. I said, Daddy's already doing that. Daddy's up. He's already doing that. And then Diamond calls up and says, get Mommy an aspirin. Okay, okay let's try this again, shall we? Yes. So we wait for 15, 20 minutes. And during this time, I can hear Cherub talking. Um, you know, uh, this is her pain. Yeah, I'm about to give her some aspirin. <gasps> it's working! It's working! Oh my god, it's working! So, uh, they've added a few assets. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so... Um... Alright, let me just... They, uh... There is, uh, there is in fact working porta potties finally. Oh, really? Well, that's good. All right. Uh, let me get out of here. Go to here. <clears throat> Join you in your game. And uh, the yes, password is allow same. access. Password yeah. is the same as it was before. Okay. Um. Let me just game capture. Uh, die. So we wait for the requisite period of time for the ambulance to show up. And I was looking, to be honest, there was a part of my brain that was looking forward to seeing a couple cute paramedics while I'm having this absolutely awful thing happen to me. You know what? I hear that a lot about that. Because <laughs> it's just that moment where you're just like, well, you just kind of reach that point of acceptance. Well, all right, well, this is already happening. At least I get to ogle the paramedics while it happens. Well, and one was one was female, and I am a flaming heterosexual, so mm -hmm. you know she was pretty. I mean, she was an attractive, nice-looking young woman. The other guy was, you know, my age. He was fit, but she wasn't fireman quality. How about we put it that way? Oh, I have encountered a few a few uh, police officers who are fireman quality, and woof. Yeah. So, the next thing I know, now, this is where things start getting a little fuzzy. Um, so, they do the ECG, like, I end up the front of my, my um, mm -hmm. bathrobe. Now, keep in mind, I had an emergency C-section when I was 20, you know, 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so, I have, when it comes to medical stuff, I have no modesty. I don't care the whole world can see everything, you know? I was like, unzip. Open it up. There you go. I flashed myself at you. Get the get the things on and let's see what's going on. Um, Cherub was getting a bag of clothes together for me because we didn't know what was happening, right? Yeah. So if this involves a, a hospital visit, you'd like to be able to like just go now as opposed to like oh, hang on, let me get some stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he and and the thing is, we we're we're old hats at, at going to the hospital. So he grabs stuff, you know, um, takes care of things. I, you know, have my purse with me because I have to have my health card inject and stuff. And I and I managed to get down the stairs. And luckily, the snow had there has been no snow. It was it was a very much a green Christmas in our region. Mm -hmm. And so then I'm in the 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 gurney. They've got a. a uh, the, the, uh, ECG, little ECG machine is there. It gets hooked up to the gurney. And of course I'm having a conversation with the, uh, the 
the paramedics. Because when I get nervous, I babble. Well, it's preferable I, to the alternative. Yeah, and I mask. Very much mask. And I try to be as personable and as agreeable as possible to make them like me better so they'll treat me better. Which is completely subconscious on my end. But valid. But they're perfectly valid. <clears throat> so then, you know, he says, I'm going to put an IV in you. I said, okay, well, here's my arm. And I made the mistake of offering my left arm, which was the only, that, that was the side that was available, right? I have one decent vein to offer for getting blood drawn or anything else for that matter. Mm -hmm. And it's in the crook of my left elbow. So he puts the IV in. That was fine. They get me into the hospital. I lay on the gurney for a little while. They get me into a uh, room. Uh, I wait for Cherub. They, you know, they take my blood pressure. They check my, uh, in my and my blood pressure is like 140 over something, which is within normal parameters. But my normal blood pressure is 90 over 50. Mm. So, and I had two aspirin with Cherub. And then the paramedics gave me two more aspirin to prove that, yes, indeed, I did take two aspirin. So I'd had four aspirin. Keeping in mind, I have not had aspirin in 10 years. Oh, man, that must, have hit, like a, that must have hit like the kick of a horse. It, well, it helped, but I was still hurting. And so they did my blood work. And there was hardly anything there. And with the... the uh, uh, Hormone. There's a hormone that your your heart releases. It's called troponin. Mm -hmm. And it's normally about a 0 0.05. And it was showing up as normal. Okay, fine. And they did the ECG and they, you know, they did all the other tests and all of that. And I was still complaining about it. And I wasn't complaining, but when they asked me if I'm in pain, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're not making and a lot of noise and they're like, you're in pain? Like, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Yes, yes, I am. It's like, they didn't ask anything, but they were kind of like, why aren't you complaining and whining and asking for painkillers? And I'm thinking to myself, I get my, they, you know, they weren't saying it, but they were looking at me like that, thinking that I'm not in pain. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm at a seven or eight. You know, I'm hurting. It's just, I get migraines. You, uh, you, you're, a, you're, a, you're a chronic sufferer. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's a thing. Yeah. So they gave me a shot of nitrix. They first they had to wait for first they had to wait for my blood pressure to deal to deal with my blood pressure, mm -hmm. and then they said to me after a couple of hours, we have to take your blood pressure. Like we have to sorry, we have to take your blood get your blood work done. Okay, I've joined the game. Hooray! Basic survival is your active quest. Yes. Okay. Uh, so then let me party up. Yep. Um. No. No. Wait a minute. Uh, that that party. You are three point five kilometers away. Oh jeez. Okay. So uh, I am going to. Fine. If you don't mind, I'm going to try and teleport you to me. That's fine. That's fine. If I can remember how to do it. <laughs> yes. Oh, it just means I get to tell the saga of my the saga of my sickness. Oh dear! So they gave me uh, the night um, the nitrogen nitro uh, nitroglyceride or whatever it is, and it didn't help. Now the pain had been slowly ebbing and slowly ebbing and slowly ebbing, mm -hmm. but it was I was still at like a five or a six. I was still in a lot of pain. And the thing is, I've been getting attitude from the nurses and the doctor not bad attitude but it was more the you're not having a heart attack you're fine you know you're not fine there's something wrong with you but you, you don't have a, you're not having a heart attack and i had chest x-rays you know mm -hmm. so they said okay your blood work's going to be done so we had to wait until 10 o'clock in the morning for the blood work to be done diamond was stuck at home we didn't know whether or not we were going to be doing christmas Um, but, you know, 
and Cher was with me the whole time, and he was sort of fall, half falling asleep, and I was half falling asleep. And um, then, you know, I'm, I'm, the, the other doctor came in who was, ah, hello. I think that um, Hi, wrecked feeds. Yeah, so that's the, um, that's hi. the, that's the trade NPC. I walked outside. Okay. There's some bones uh, around here which I'm going to kill. I've already completed the starter quests. They're exactly the same uh, as they were before. All right. Well, in that case, I'm just going to place my bedroll. Have inventory. So. Ah. All right. All right. Gather plant fibers. Gather wood. All right. So I'm. You know, and I've been getting the attitude of it's a heart attack. And so Cherub and I were both thinking, okay, fine, I'm I'm still hurting, but I'm in a lot better shape. I was it's probably an angina, an angina attack, which means I've got to work you know, then it's gonna be some serious lifestyle changes and um So you're just sitting there and you're like, Okay, so maybe not a heart attack, but like almost a heart attack. We should probably do something. Yeah, like we're we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do some lifestyle changes because I there's no way I'm going through this pain again, never again. This I hurt way too much. This is horrible. No. Okay, before you make your uh, stone axe, I have a level two one that you can just pick up. Okay. Uh, that will probably suffice uh, a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Because I found two of them in in boxes. Nope, I gotta craft it. Oh, they're gonna make you craft one. They're gonna make me craft one. Those jerks. Yep. And I have to craft my pants. But nothing else, apparently. Well, and I have to craft a wooden club, so give me that. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. So they say, so the, the nurse basically says, okay... Um, or the ner the doctor who came in, who who was giving me the attitude. Nothing major, nothing mean or anything. Just sort of a, you're not as sick as you may think you are. But he's giving you that look. Kind of, yeah. Oh, come on. Ooh, they made sledgehammers slightly more usable. Joe! I don't want to talk to you, Joe. Oh, let me uh, let me slap him with my baseball bat. Uh, okay. Where are you? There you are. I'm going to slap him with my club if I can. Okay. Bonk. So she says, "Okay, if we, we're we're waiting on the results, if we get the results and the results are um, bad, then the, you'll <laughs> see the doctor and." will get you admitted. Um, if you are... Uh, okay, now i got to find a bird's nest. Uh, I have some feathers in one of the in the chest over there. Where? Where's the chest? Ah, there's the chest. Oh, okay. I just randomly dropped a chest here for now because I was full. No problem. Feathers. You've gotten that look from doctors before. It's one reason you limit your doctor's visits. Yeah. Yeah. I'm... There's no feathers in here. Are there not? Oh, sorry. They're in my hot bar. Now there are feathers. Ah, yes. Excuse me while I uh, go pick on some pigs. All right. You go pick on some pigs. I'm going to craft that. Craft that. Oh, so I like I'm, this perk. They now I'm it. going. To, okay, I'm getting blood taken. They had to take it out of my right arm because your left is occupied. My left is occupied by the IV. My right arm is not very good for taking blood out of. I bet. I still have bruises. Mm. It's been three weeks. Oof. 
So, and it was painful. It, it was, it was, now it wasn't as bad as a heart attack, but it was still an annoying pinch. Yes. Craft a building block. Okay. Place the building block. You have to upgrade the, the building block. And I have to upgrade the building block. Okay. They separated the attack speed boost uh, perk into... Uh, like, there's one for each now. Okay. By the looks of it. Each perk has their own attack speed boost now, because it's not just agility. Mm -hmm. But each one only governs the specific uh, skill within that uh, branch. So, for example, um, the uh, strength-based one only applies to sledgehammers. The 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 int-based one only applies to uh, was it batons? Okay. Where do you want to put the campfire? Does it matter? Not really. We can make a new one as as needed. Uh, we can also, uh, as I discovered, this is this this is what the um, this is what the land claim block is for. If we're inside the range of the land claim block, we can pick up our workstations. Oh, nice. That's that's what the land claim block is for. Okay. Aside from aside from also making um, all of our blocks within that territory to harder to break by PvP. Okay. Not that that matters all that much. All right. Craft the campfire. Place the campfire. So I'm getting um, another ECG done, and I hear a knock. It was the doctor. And the elictamine said, yeah, your troponin went from 0 to 39. That's a lot. You've had a heart attack. Merry freaking Christmas. Merry Christmas. We're admitting, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're admitting you. Yay! And I have to, and I have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. I'm sorry, everybody. Hold on. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Pickle, you suck. My baseball bat sucks right now. Oakham's terrible dad joke using my bot. I made a belt out of watches once. It was a waste of time. Well, at least we have meat to work with. I'm going to take my bedroll, and I'm actually going to place it right now. Hooray. Oh, actually, hang on. Do we have... We have colored bedrolls still. Pink. Pink it is. I love that on my screen everything has taken on this vaguely purplish hue. I think it's because the sun is starting to go down. She wasn't here around, so it was a waste to hear it. Oh no! I shall have to. I shall have to repeat the. I shall have to repeat the uh, the terrible, terrible, terrible pun. Oh, I'm hungry. I guess I'll eat that can of chili. We will find more food, I assure you. Oh, hey, chili doesn't give you uh, tin cans anymore. Or maybe it does. No, no more tin cans. All right. Are tin cans a thing? I don't even know the recipe. 
I don't think tin cans are a thing. One less thing to get scrap iron from, I guess. I need to repair that. Stone. Stone. I'm back. Welcome back. Oh. <sighs> All right. Where was I? I have to locate a trader. Wow. There's one like he's right a whole there. Yeah, he's a whole 78.4 meters away. Isn't that convenient? And then once you've done so that, let's uh, let's do a quest uh, before it becomes proper nighttime. Yep. I've got a um, local fetch, but, uh... Do it. I heard it do it. Oh. Oakum wants me to, uh, share the terrible pun. Go ahead. Made a, uh, made a belt out of watches. It was a waste of time. Uh, Alright, I've got a tier one clear zombies east of here. Let's do that one. I got a okay. fetch. Okay. All right. And uh, there's an option now for auto auto share and auto accept quests, which is great. But I have to share okay. this one because you weren't online when I picked it up. Okay. Or maybe it did share because I don't have a button. Uh, <laughs> mine is southwest. Yours is east. Which one's closer? Yours. Let's do yours. Okay. Uh, quest. <sighs> Clear. Yeah, it's auto shared. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yours is, yours is closer. Let's do yours. Okay. All right. I'll come back for this last pig later because those pigs were actually uh, kicking my butt. All right. I don't have any armor and I don't have any perks yet. Ooh. Yeah. Sports bag. Hello. Oh, Cherub. Anything interesting? Just aloe? Yeah, just some aloe cream. Okay. Um. So Cherub and Diamond went to my parents for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They had called my parents and told them what was happening. You are uh, a little occupied. Yeah, I'm just a wee bit on the, the, the busy side getting, you know... So I'm I'm going into ICU and they're heading to um And they're heading to my parents' place and they had everything set uh uh my sister in law and niece uh uh had uh set everything out and there was one plate left over mm -hmm. diamond took one look at the one plate and started to cry oh yeah that sounds unfortunate but that sounds like what would happen yeah Ooh, a book armored oh, up okay. improve armor crafting skill i will we'll, i will worry to, to about the the book books later yeah. Because I think they're way different than they used to be. Oh, yeah. They are definitely way different. Okay. You ready? Whenever you are. Yay, okay. tree stump. I appreciate that uh, lootable items um, despawn when you loot them now, though. Yeah. Because now I don't have to go, like, did you loot the room? No. Yes, no. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Oh, you got a friend. Yep. Bonk. And this is why I like baseball bats. Yes. So, 
So I'm not going to get into the minutia of day to day, but I did have to go on the 27th to get an angiogram done. Laws of physics. To tell me what was going on with me. Ow. That's barbed wire. So we found out what was wrong with me. <laughs> That's barbed wire. Yeah, yeah, I gathered by stepping in it twice. I did not have a standard heart oh. attack. Oh, the closet's open now. Yeah. I like it. Heard something taking damage. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Baseball kick for you. Oh. It fell on the floor behind you. Cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, I hear nighttime sounds. Uh, uh, it's seven o'clock, that's why. Oop, stamina. There we go. That is the appropriate way to deal with seven days to die early on, right? Yep. Gang up on them until they, uh, just just keep whacking until they stop. You still have to go upstairs. Ooh, brass. 200 of it. A bathroom. Oh, there's water in here. Mm-hmm. Your foghorn. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sorry, guys. getting quite... It's a locked door! On the floor. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, watch your step, I guess? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Janitor. Ooh. Hello, friend. You're not much, friend. Oh, boy. We're getting swarmed. Didn't expect this much on a tier one. Yeah. Arlene. Stop it. Bad Arlene. I I just barely dodged that. Yep. We are clear at least. Yep. Ooh, some good pants. Ooh, handy land. Nice. Doing. Okay, so now we can return to the trader. Shall we do that? And if we can get there before they're closed, I don't know if they are. Because uh, Undead Legacy did extend their hours. Yeah, I know. I would try jumping off the ledge here because it's relatively easy to do. Uh, there's a lot of barbed wire. I did it. All right. So did I! Yay! I handled parkour! I love that in the top right corner, I can it actually tells me if I'm inside a POI or not. Mm-hmm. It's so nice. Oh, yeah. So, would you like to hear the result of my angiogram? Where yeah. they stuck a tube in my artery and put a, uh, a, and, and put a, a line with, filled with dye all the way up my arm and through my collarbone and down into my heart? There was some attention that needed to be done for your ticker, I guess. Uh, actually, I suffered from a SCAD heart attack. A SCAD heart attack. SCAD. Uh, spontaneous coronary artery dissection. That sounds like a flap, in, a flap of skin inside your artery came loose. That's basically what happened. Oof. Um, your artery... Your arteries have three layers in them. We made it. Make it snappy. I gotta take a crap. Doing one job doesn't Oh, he just immediately offers five things. I like it. Bad after all. I think I'll take yeah. the ammo. Ooh, do I want the Shamley uh, recipe? I'm looking at the crafting skill bu magazine bundle. We have different options finally. I'm uh, taking the crafting skill. Uh, I'm taking 9mm. 
All right, yours is okay. That's buried supplies. We don't even have shovels yet. I can make them, uh, but I wouldn't bother because it's not worth it until we get iron tools. It's it's just too much of a pain in the butt to dig. Uh, plus, yeah. Plus, it takes uh, we like we'd have to find it. Oh. Yeah. Where are you? I went back outside. Okay. Um. Yeah. The. Uh... Oh, how do I put this? Uh, the There's three layers to your arteries. Mm -hmm. And one of them came loose because of stress. Oof. And that's what caused the pain. Okay. I'm making another so, chest. And then we okay. can start making a, a, a cardboard box to live in for now. Alright, so I have big hitters. Which is, check out all the latest clubs and bats for sports, home defense, and gang war. Includes, improves club crafting skill. And then, scrapping for fun. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Improves salvage tool crafting skill. And I got handy land. Improves repair tool crafting skills. Okay, I found a armored up book. Improves armor crafting recipe uh, abilities. And a lucky looter number seven. Find more medical supplies in loot. Okay. Uh... And uh, Rekt's shop had a, or one of the loot boxes over there had a uh, uh, vehicle adventures magazine. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're not sorted right now. No. Um. So the good news for me is that my cholesterol is. Perfect, according to my doctor. Oh, okay. So you're not you're not like you're not doing the unhealthy eating habits thing that a lot of people do to cause this sort of thing. No, my arteries are fine. I have no plaque in my arteries at all. I'm impressed by that. Um, I have low blood pressure. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Oh, thank you so much for for putting the notification in stream elements. Fifty one minutes after I started. Um. Uh, there's a boar here. Yes, I'm mostly they're they're passive. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm ignoring oh, okay. them uh, because I don't have enough skill to be able to take them without some severe side effects. So uh, I'm just harvesting for wood so we can make yeah. a relatively safe place to uh, chill overnight. Yeah. Because we're not at all equipped for any of the fun stuff at night. No, we're not. So, yeah, um, I went and saw my doctor yesterday. Um, I'm now on a beta blocker. I'm on aspirin for three months. Chewable aspirin mm -hmm. for three months. Yes, yeah, so they say uh, chewing uh, an aspirin is the solution. Yep. Um, like I said, I'm on the beta blockers. I am... Uh, I went and saw my doctor, and she basically said I am one of the healthiest sick people she's ever seen. <laughs> and she, I'm, I am as healthy as you can be, with the exception of the fact that I weigh about three hundred pounds. So uh, you are the healthiest heart attack victim you've ever they've ever seen. Pretty much, yeah. But it's all about stress. So my stamina recovery is terrible right now. So is mine. I am forcedy, apparently. Oh! You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you okay? I'm infected. Oh, well, there's some honey in, in one of the boxes. Okay. I got lucky with one of the tree stumps. Good thing we noticed before it became too bad. Yeah. So yeah, so so Christmas kind of sucked. Well, mind you, we had didn't have any money to do Christmas really. Well, so I mean, it's okay, I guess. Ultimately, yeah, I mean, it's it's. 
Okay, I don't know if this is an ideal place to set up shop or not, because uh, we're close to the trader, but... Uh, where's town? <laughs> <laughs> we're on the top of a hill uh and like literally on the one road out here um, yeah, yeah part of me wants to go into god mode just so i can zip around and see if there's a town nearby if you like if you're okay with me doing that yep that's fine hang on let's see here uh if i go Zoop. Okay, let's see. Here. Okay, well, I'm I'm going to crouch and hide while I'm, while I'm standing on top of this thing. I'm just going to crouch. Yeah, New Year's was quiet. We ended up not going to my in-laws because we didn't get out. I didn't get out of the hospital until the 28th, 29th. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to avoid stress. Yes. And I. Love my in-laws. They're wonderful, wonderful people. But they're still my in-laws. Oh, okay. So, uh, according to my God Mode map, which I forgot that's a thing, uh, uh -huh. there is... I can now see icons on that map. That's actually really excellent. Uh, oh, nice. If we go south, there's a very large city, and then another city, and then another city, and then another city. <laughs> Okay, so, so well we have we have uh, quest heading southwest and south. So yes, they're all they're all wilderness POIs by the looks of it. Yeah. So you know. So I mean, we can we can just do the wilderness POIs and get them get, or we can abandon them. I mean, it's it's. Okay, I am back. Uh, okay. So, yes, no, maybe, kind of, sort of. We could set up shop here. It wouldn't be too bad once we get vehicles. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, we could try and set up inside one of the houses down there. Because it, um, it is about half a kilometer south from here is the beginning of the town, and there might be a trader nearby. Okay, we can do that. Because I don't recognize all the symbols on the map yet. Yeah. Now, whatever skills that you pick... Reminds me, I should probably see if I've got any perk points. Yeah, we start I with have four. Oh, we, we start with four. Yeah. Stay down. Ooh, you chopped her head off. Yep. She went after my friend Rhino. I'm going to chop his her her head off. Okay. Um. I picked clubs again, but that's just because I like clubs. But uh, I might cheat in a forgetting elixir, or not care because it's like super early. It's just one perk and okay. go uh, sledgehammers right. because I noticed that there's an attack speed boost that actually works on sledgehammers now. Hmm. Now, whatever skills that you pick, mm -hmm. um, the the books that you get, like the the skill books that you get, oh yes, will end up getting um, more of them. Uh, you'll get more of them. Yes, I did notice that uh, the uh, this per the perks le legitimately just say is like, oh yeah, if you take this perk, you'll start seeing more baseball bat books or whatever. Yeah. Which is both a good and a bad thing. It just means you can't branch out quite as easily as you used to be able to. Yeah. But well, it also I'm... means that you won't struggle in the early game as much. Which was absolutely a problem uh, before. Mm -hmm. Especially in Undead Legacy. Oh my god. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Ah, uh, what kind of weapon types you want to use? Uh, I'm noticing that they've yeah. made it a little bit more balanced to do weapons. Yeah. Because, for example, oh, I want to go knives. Well, now, like, they're actually good. <laughs> mm-hmm. 